Hello all and once again I welcome you all to my channel Technocube. If you are new to my channel, I insist you to please subscribe my channel. See, in the previous session we had seen something called as system vulnerabilities. In this session, we're gonna understand what do you mean by ports and why do we need, right? Why do we why do we need to understand ports? Well, there is a very important perspective to understand it. And uh, let me give you the clearance on it. So I'm going to start with a whiteboard here um, and let's see what exactly is port and why it is important in the cyber security. Okay? So let's first understand what is the need of port and what do you mean by the ports. Okay? So let's get started. I'm with the whiteboard here and uh, we are dealing with ports. So what exactly is port? Now you see a very simple understanding of port is uh, let's assume that there is a computer okay that there is a computer and I say this computer is a sender. This is a sender and let's say there is one more uh, you know computer which is nothing but a receiver. This is receiver 1 okay and I am gonna say that this is a whole lot of internet. This is a complete different network. This is a complete dif different network and inside this network there are many receiver available. So this is receiver 1, this is receiver 2, there might be receiver 3 and there might be many other receivers available in the, inside this network. Okay. And now let me draw this receiver 2 computer. So this is the receiver 2 computer. Right. So this is the receiver 2 computer. When this sender wants to send a packet to this receiver 2, let's say, this receiver 2, he wants to communicate. Well, basically, what exactly this sender needs? Sender needs a packet. Okay. Sender needs a packet. And inside this packet, three things are there. One, it is IP address. Okay. Second thing is MAC address. And another is something called as port address. These are three addresses are there in the packet and what is the important of these three addresses are they are very very simple you see this IP address is meant for different different network right so there might be a network here this is network one this might be a network two there might be a network three okay there are many networks available so to which network this packets this packet want to go is going to be decided by this IP address. So it will decide to which network, to which network should I go, okay. Then let's say this is, let's say this is a network of uh, 10 of sum. This is a network of 192 of sum and this is a network of maybe 176 of sum, okay. So this is the starting initials of IP address. So this I, this packet is intended to a network of let's say 192. So now I hope you understand this packet is intended to this uh, violet uh, network. All right. So now let's say this packet moves. Oh, it's moving and it comes to this specific, uh, you know, network. Okay, network to it. It is there. It is here now. The packet. Now after receiving the packet here in this network, it will find that there are many uh, you know receivers as i already told you there are many actually one two there are many so i'm not uh, drawing all the receivers here but these dots are receivers so how you know this packet this packet will understand to which receiver i should go okay how he can know well this can be done with the help of mac address it will decide to which network it will decide to which computer to which computer in the network okay so inside this network there are many computers right but to which computer should i you know go should i forward this is decided by mac address okay so now as let's say uh, this uh, there is a mac address for receiver one is a initials this for two it is db and let's say this uh, for receiver three it is cc and let's say this MAC address, I say this is of 192 and the MAC address initials are AA. So now you, you, you know the packet 
packet knows that I need to go to the receiver. Uh, let's say I want to do like for B. Okay. So let's say I want to go for B. B is my actual computer to which I want to go. So now it is going to be forwarded to the receiver 2. So this packet is now forwarded to the specifically to receiver 2, not to the receiver 1, not to the receiver 3. Why? Because I have a MAC address appended which says that BB. So this is the initials of receiver 2 uh, and this is a network. Now once the packet reaches to your computer, how your computer going to understand that uh, uh, you know uh, what this po port is all about okay well port you see port will give you something called as service what service i want to use or what service is meant for so there are many services in a computer maybe it is like it is main, meant for file sharing it could be a file sharing port number it could be a communication port number okay uh, it could be like uh, maybe it is for just for browsing port number Okay, there are many port numbers already available so port port gives you the service okay the service to which i am I, I want to use okay so a service that this packet want to use it is written in the uh, inside this packet so now after reaching to the boundary of this computer if the port number if the port number inside this packet is 80 then your computer precisely know that this is a browsing port number all right so he is requesting an http hypertext transfer protocol so he wants a service of http so he'll precisely open a browser okay he will precisely open a browser in your computer okay by which you can communicate with the internet right if let's say this packet is having 21 port number then your computer precisely know that this port number is of FTP file sharing. He will open a file sharing application such as FileZilla or something like that. So this port specifically decides what service inside the computer. Decide what service inside the computer. Inside the computer. So by which by these three addressing mechanism a, a sender and receiver gets communicated with the complete uh, you know process so there is a network address precisely uh, for ip address it says that to which network you want to go then there is a mac address precisely says to which computer inside a network you want to go then port says in a computer which service you want to use precisely okay so these are having three different meanings uh, uh, three different entities in a packet and having three different uh, meaning of it all right so now when i when i say port number there are different types of port numbers available you see there are actually actually numbers of port okay types of port if i say if you go to internet you will see three different types of port uh, there is a well known port there is a well known port having some range i do not basically know it's i think 0 to 1024 i guess uh, there is a registered port i guess i'm right somehow because uh, and there is a dynamic port okay so these are having some range but in general the port range is from 0 to 65535 this is the port range these many port numbers you are having so if i go to internet and if i show you the uh, port uh, we will see okay so if i write here types of you know port you see different i'm so sorry a different type of port in networking which is going to be the actual keyword should i i should use so this is a wikipedia and uh, wiki says that uh, there are uh, uh, you know it is very hard sometimes uh, to find maybe this is not the uh, okay um, it is written here see here actually it is there only but i was not uh, searching in a uh, manner yeah here see here well known port numbers are here and uh, there are 
it should give me the precise thing but uh, you see there is a port it is ranges from 0 to 65535 so uh, there is th these many uh, port numbers you are having there is a whole well known port dynamic port see i'll write here well known port uh, registered uh, port number so then it will maybe show you and i'm uh, no, sorry maybe this is the so sorry it is taking too much time but i just want to show you that there are three different ports i i hope you already know about this but uh, let's understand uh, so you see here that there is a well known port uh, having a range of 0 to uh, uh, i think 1024 then there is a, a registered port number here you see uh, and then there is a dynamic port here there is a dynamic port so there are three types of port and having a different range so 0 to 1024 i can I, uh, they are the registered port i think uh, sorry 0 to 0 to 1024 is a well known port 1024 to 49151 is a registered port and then 10 uh, sorry 49151 to 655.35 is a dynamic or private ports okay and uh, the port numbers are very flexible in nature you can change the port uh, for your uh, uh, preferable application so if you want to change for an HTTP like HTTP, HTTP sits on AT port number I mean it is somehow you know not a good idea to change that port number so a port number which is fixed you cannot change it and beside this if a port number once assigned to some specific application you cannot use the same port number for the other application now this is not possible right so this is in general the need of port and what do you mean by port? It's a simple thing right now. In the next session, we will see why exactly it is important in the cyber security. Okay, what is the importance of uh, port numbers in the cyber security? So if you if you like this video, then uh, please hit like button and uh, share this video. And thank you so much for listening to me. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe the subscribe button. Thank you so much.